Hello and welcome to the Sins Review. I'm your host, Jackie Sins. So yeah, Megan Fox in a horror comedy type film. You and me are going out tonight. Wear something cute, okay? You always do what Jennifer tells you to do. It's just that I like the same things that she likes. Jennifer's Body, released in 2009, was written by Diablo Cody and directed by Karen Kusama. It stars Megan Fox as the titular character, but not really the main character, Jennifer. Amanda Seyfried as Anita, a.k.a. Needy, and Johnny Simmons as Chip, Needy's boyfriend. Now, I... I know this um, film didn't have the best audience reception back when it was released, um, and yeah, a lot of it had to do with the marketing and the fact that critics found it hard to take Megan Fox seriously as an actress and, you know, not just eye candy. Well, not too long ago, this film started garnering a cult following and is finally appreciated for what it is. A wild, crazy ride of a comedy horror film with blood and... Okay, so the film starts out with the actual protagonist, Needy, in a women's prison. Oh shit! Damn, girl! So Needy gets thrown into the hole, tells us the story of how she ended up here, and her friendship with Jennifer, who is a high school cheerleader, I believe. The town is called Devil's Kettle, Minnesota. Jennifer is, you know, all popular at school and stuff, but you know, she's not really a nice person at all. Um, so already, not the most sympathetic character. So I'm going to forego talking about all the high school drama and move the story along. Jennifer invites Needy out to this bar place or whatever where an up-and-coming band called Low Shoulder is playing that night. We get a little cameo by Chris Pratt. Some more reasons not to like Jennifer. I will admit, though, the band plays pretty well. I did mention that uh, Jennifer and Needy are in high school, right? Well, that doesn't stop Jennifer from doing a little underage drinking. While the band is playing this number, um, some, uh, what's it called? Uh, some equipment catches fire, the bar catches fire, everything catches fire, and uh, a lot of people die. Horribly. Needy and Jennifer escape. The front man of Low Shoulder acts all nonchalant about you know, all the people dying and stuff, um, just offers them a ride, uh, but it's clearly a trap. However, Jennifer is too fucked up to tell and goes with them anyway. Well, Needy goes home worrying about what those boys might be doing to her friend, and it turns out she's just fine. So what? She eats people. Because she's a... Apex Predator all day! Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Okay, really, she's a demon that has to eat people to sustain herself and stay looking young and beautiful. So Jennifer hasn't really changed that much except for the whole cannibalism thing. She seems very amazed by her rapid healing. I gotta go. I am a god. 
quite the opposite, my dear. So you remember Low Shoulder, right? You know, the... You guys are all right. I've been looking everywhere for you two. Listen, it's not. It's really dangerous out here. You want to head someplace safer, like my van? Well, they took credit for saving some people from the fire, even though they absolutely did not save anybody. They gain a lot of popularity with many of the students at school and the town in general, acting like a symbol of solidarity after the tragedy. Okay, it's more like these folks have all of a sudden become major fanatics for this band. So, how did this happen? Well, the band tried to sacrifice Jennifer in a satanic ritual that was supposed to grant them perver the proverbial fame and fortune, but there was a problem. The person to be sacrificed had to be a virgin, and well, Jennifer lied and said she was. Of course, she didn't know those bozos were planning on killing her in a ritual sacrifice. The band started uh, making it big, as was promised, but Jennifer didn't stay dead after being sacrificed. Well, Needy sure doesn't have a, an easy task ahead of her with her friend, who is now a flesh-eating demon. I am going to eat your soul. And shit, it's out! Apex all day! Jennifer's body is just one of those movies that really isn't meant to be taken that seriously, though there are a few chilling moments. I personally love it. Yeah, I know Megan Fox has been the hot chick in most of the films she's been in, but that's just typecasting. I think there's plenty for horror fans to enjoy here, as well as fans of blood and guts. I give Jennifer's body full sins. This has been the Sins Review. I'm Jackie Sins. Oh! Uh, yeah. Definitely not a god. <laughs> I am going to eat your soul and shit.